Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how I make Genie. And we are using Saracino modeling paste. To start off with, we will roll out a brown modeling paste ball and then we will cut it in half. And without kind of disturbing the rest of the brown paste, we only roll out the front of the paste into a tip. And then we just slowly curl the tip up to make Jeannie's shoe. Continue to do the other side as well. Now we will use some blue modeling paste straight from the top to make Jeannie's trousers. With this, uh, the starting point is a kind of like longish teardrop and one side is kind of larger than the other side because of the way he is standing and use the back of the knife to kind of score the line. I mean, you don't have to use the knife. Uh, you can use the uh, tool I'm using now, the dressing tool, the pointy bit on the side. Try not to squash the paste while it is in your hand. And then smooth out all the sharp edges and kind of put it on the table and then squash it kind of back towards the crease line. Then cut to length. Because the way he's standing, you only need to put the support on one side. And I'm using a barbecue stick and make sure the length is long enough for the barbecue stick to reach to the bottom of the polystyrene. And then just add another kind of toothpick or cocktail stick on the other side, just to give the uh, shoe and the trousers a bit of support. I mean, at this stage, everything would be kind of quite slippery. Can I say that? Because it's not dry. So you can just position the stuff or how he stand and then make sure the waistline is the shape you want uh, make sure it's small enough for the body i am using saracino blue saracino lilac and saracino white they are all modeling paste to make this color it's kind of like a light blue with a tint of lilac in it. I mean, with the lighting, it does not show that the, in, with this lighting, it just show it's kind of like a, a light blue color. But there are all different kind of color of the genie on the internet. So it, I mean, it doesn't have to have the same color. At this point, ideally, you have a picture of the genie you are making uh, so that you kind of know exactly what size the body, the trousers, like proportion wise. Uh, I have a picture in front of me while I'm doing this. And for this method, um, I don't use it often because the easiest uh, way to do, I think, it's still kind of like you section the hands, the arms and the body, and then you attach them. But with this standing kind of posture, uh, to do it in this method is kind of quite easy. And in the video now, you can see I'm just kind of outlining the, the hands and the arm. Just lightly do the line first. 
and then um, you just have to make sure all the sharp edges are pushed and smoothed out. I mean, you, when you look at the video now, it's kind of like the shape is there already. So there isn't much difficult in this one. I have searched around for quite a lot of different posture I want to make. And then I was like, ah, this is quite fun to make. And it's quite, I won't say simple, but it's just, uh, it's just draw some line and then make sure your lines is thick enough. So I think this is achievable. I mean, I don't use this method often, but I quite enjoyed it. I'm not going to lie, uh, this Jimmy have, the face have gave me quite a bit of trouble because um, I'm thinking, how do I make this as simplified as possible for you guys to follow? So hopefully you guys like this video because I did spend quite a while trying to sort out his face and uh, I'm quite happy with it. Okay, so with there, where I'm pressing now, make sure it's kind of pressed down the end of that where my tools is now so that it kind of gives you the illusion that the hand is disappeared kind of into the other hand. While you're doing that, just make sure that the lines are getting deeper. What I'm doing now is just uh, make sure there is a kind of like a neck for Ginny. You know what, Ginny is kind of quite forgiving, this character. Um, in some of the picture, he doesn't have a neck at all because his beard is so big. So just have fun and just make it really while you're making it. Just enjoy the process. I mean, when I'm making this, I did learn a few bits myself by pressing and pushing the paste. So this is what I mean. Make sure the waistline is the size you want and then you use that as a guide for the bottom of your body. So I didn't stick this down because the body is kind of quite heavy. I'm just shaping it while it is on the barbecue stick and then I'm going to pull it back out and rest it onto the cornflower pouch because if you leave it on the stick at this point the body is so heavy it will weight it onto the trousers and then you kind of destroy the shape of the trousers and make the waistline kind of bigger and then he will look like he will have love handles if you know what i mean so while you're at this stage preferably um, work on your body while it is on the table with the fingers uh you just roll out a sausage and then at the end of the sausage, make it kind of like thin and then just tuck it behind the arm to give the illusion that the fingers is coming out from underneath. And I'm using the back of my knife to score the lines.
after you have marked out all the finger nails, we will get some yellow modeling paste and roll out quite thin and make a cup for the arm. You want the paste quite thin. And then just add some water and stick it on. And then once the body is firm to touch, then it's ready to put on to the barbecue stick. Now we move on to the head. Roll out a ball, same color as the body, and then into like kind of like an egg shape. Then you can use a uh, the back of your paintbrush or a kick down, anything just round, and you kind of roll out a flat surface, how I'm doing in the video. The reason of doing that is to make sure there is kind of like a mount of paste in the middle so that when when I do when I'm doing it now I'm going to push the cheek out to give it some like expression on the face contour it looks kind of weird now <laughs> same again you can use the back of your paintbrush to do this or a ball tool i did use a ball tool in a minute And then just kind of push it into place to make the cheek more defined. If you're making a frog, I guess a cartoon frog face is similar if you make the face wider, I guess. Just remind me of a cartoon frog at the moment, the head. Just make sure the eye area where I'm doing now uh, is quite narrow because when you're pushing the pace, sometimes it makes that area wider. So make sure you, after you've done that, you kind of squeeze the side back. And then just make sure the bottom of the face is kind of flat there because we're going to build on that. I mean, this part you don't really have to do, but I think it's necessary. So just fill the holes. You're not going to see that. Uh, that area is where the teeth are going to be. But it's just, uh, it will benefit when we put the teeth in, then you don't need to fill the hole. So fill the hole first. Then just roll out a sausage and then both end into a point. And just tuck the pointy end into the hole. I mean, you can see I have rolled out a kind of like a pea-sized ball. Then I started to make kind of similar size to the mouth, the white paste, white modeling paste, and that just uh, 
to make a shape to go in first. It's just make it easier to spread out the paste. So we are making the teeth now. So you want the white area as flat as possible, but towards the side of the mouth, you want the paste kind of dig into the, the side to give an illusion that uh, the teeth is round, going into the mouth. Same again, because his face expression is so forgiving, even if you make the, the mouthpiece really big and long, it's okay, because uh, in some images, his jawline is kind of quite long. So it doesn't have to be exact, really. Now stick on the nose, then you add water, all I use is water at the moment. You can use edible blue, but if you want to smooth out a joint, preferably use water like what I'm doing now. Just join the two paste together. Here come the ball tool. So what I'm doing now is just uh, we define the kind of like a, the contour of the eye area. And on top of the eye area between the forehead and the top of the head, so it's kind of like a, a dent there in between. So continue to smooth out the top of the head. Then we move on to the ear. So I have rolled out a ball and then into a teardrop shape. Then I cut it in half. Then I use the dressing tool and then just kind of do like a spoon indent into the ear and stick it to inside and curl the tip, the tip of the ear out a little bit. Then with the eye, uh, I have kind of quickly marked out where I want the eye to be. Then I use a ball to make an indent. So it's ready for the white paste going. And then just push the white paste in. Indent the eye for the black dots to go in. At this point, I am still using modeling paste, Saracino, black modeling paste. Same again, black modeling paste, and then roll out a really thin sausage. And you want it to disappear into the hole underneath the cheek. Quite fiddly, as you can see. Now we are making the bits that in the middle of the beard. And <laughs> once I've done that, I've cut that and I kind of accidentally pressed stop, so I didn't record how I stick on it. So we just add water and stick onto the beer. So the difficult bit is finished, I guess. Uh, we're just sticking a kind of like a yellow modeling paste ball on top of the head. I think that is uh, his uh, hair type. And then just push in a hole I mean, you can use a thicker wire, but in here, I think I'm using a 26 gauge wire there. And then just 
push it in. Doesn't have to be long, the wire. All I want is a kind of like a connection for the black paste into the head. And then for the earring, uh, it's quite small. I don't know if you can see in the video. What I did uh, was uh, I kind of like a make a a ball and then press it down, make it flat, and then cut a kind of like a a triangle out. Uh, the shape looked like Pac Man, and then just stick it on the ear. Ah, this part. So now I'm digging a hole so that the head sit on to the neck nicely so uh, when you are making the body uh, you can make the neck a bit smaller so that it go into your head easier and then just put in a cocktail stick and position the head where you want to be i mean i didn't put any glue or anything into in between the head and the body because uh, I like to have my figurine kind of movable but if you are making it for a customer or for yourself you need to travel make sure you add water to stick the head down that's it for today I hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel for new videos and updates and I hope to see you in my next video bye bye